you have to have it right. It has to be set. It's so important. And I've had people tell me that I'm over crediting the quarterback position. Maybe I tend to think that it's extremely important. I've just seen it too often. And I know we even went back and forth on this in the beginning of the year, Dave, where I was blaming Justin Fields from the start. I said, no, 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 no. You have to play better. Yes, there are other problems. Yes, there's coaching. Yes, there's talent. Yes, there's offensive line issues. Things are going to never be perfect, but the quarterback position has to be set. A lot of excuses disappear once it is. Well, you need more weapons. Yeah, meanwhile, a team like the Chiefs is trading Tyreek Hill away. Well, you know, Fields needs an offensive line. Well, you know what? The best quarterbacks have won while getting sacked. Aaron Rodgers won a Super Bowl being the most sacked quarterback. Joe, Joe Burrow was in a Super Bowl as the most sacked quarterback. You could sit there and overcome those obstacles, and we need better coaches. You know, coaches are totally tied to the performance of the quarterback. Even recently, we have a guy like Sirianni that had, uh, in his second season, he had the number three total offense, the number three scoring offense. He toppled the league with uh, a team filled with pro bowlers, and they fell four points shy of a Super Bowl. And one year later now, people are talking that he's coming into this year on a hot seat. Yeah, great coaches, they matter, but they're directly tied to the play of the quarterback. Another thing I hear all the time is, well, we should have won three games last year that we did it. You know, shoulda, coulda, woulda. Um, you either did or you didn't. Every single team can make that argument. You can't sit there and make that argument. But you know what? Just to uh, just to talk about those three games, people reference Tampa Game Bay. Okay, so Getsy calls two screens in a row at the very end. Is it the best idea? No. But you throw a pick six. So, so I get the play calling isn't great, but – that you can't just give the ball to the other team and let them score. You're better off taking a, a sack for a safety. I mean, you just, you, you mess that up. And then on top of it, he throws another pick after that while trying to target chase Claypool. So should have won that game. Well, you didn't because fields kind of effed it up. People don't want to sit there and admit it, but it's true. So the other game is the Broncos where fields had a great game, finally threw for four touchdowns, but, but it did come with its, huge negative so the bears still lost it's hard to sit there and criticize the guy when he has a four touchdown game but if you, we need you to be clutch not the opposite you can't just cough it up at the end and now getsy made a play call where there's a free rusher coming once again is it the best plan probably not but in the press conference after the game getsy stated that that was the plan that they, that that Everybody should be on the same page. Fields needs to know that there is a free rusher coming because that is the play call. And, and so to sit there and fumble it and let the other team go and score a touchdown, that can't be the result of that either. And, and so even if the play call was bad, you still effed it up. With the Lions game, the Bears collapse. Okay, the offense did very little to kill the clock in the fourth quarter. And then at the end of the game, 30 seconds to go, It that's a, it's an uphill battle. But Fields is sacked for a fumble that gets kicked out for a safety. Okay, now three points turns into five points down. But you were down three points with 30 seconds to go. There's quarterbacks in this league that take that as an opportunity. 30 seconds is not a lot of time, but what we saw is completely the opposite. We saw a guy just crumble in the moment. The clutch argument. People bring up like the Vikings game where the very pass at the end to DJ Moore was super sloppy. DJ Moore really made that catch. But people forget that the two drives leading up to that ended both with fumbles. And on top of it, we couldn't score a touchdown all game. We got lucky we won that game 12 tonight. And then you saw that same performance repeat in Green Bay at the end of the year. Part of, I think, the, the emotional connection to Justin Fields is like hearing the rest of the teammates back him up, right? We want him back. We hear all these players saying that we move on from quarterbacks too quickly and this and that and the other. Yeah, Everybody had Chase Claypool say? back. But Everybody had Chase. That's what right. I'm saying. So, like, everybody well, had Chase Claypool's You can't back. throw your teammates under the bus. Of course you can't. And I don't think anybody thinks the same way about Chase Claypool as they did about Justin Fields. But I don't think it was that different. I think they thought Chase Claypool was a decent guy. And maybe he just didn't, like, click well with the team. And then Chase Claypool, the rest of his career, kind of spoke for itself. And he was what he was. There is no – there's nowhere near – a comparison here. I don't think Justin Fields is anywhere near as bad as Chase Claypool as a player. I think Justin Fields will go somewhere and he'll be productive and he'll 
he'll be good enough to do the same stuff again. He will have some version of a quarterback controversy. Man, Justin Fields, he's so talented here in Atlanta and Pittsburgh or whatever, but he's just, ah, something's just missing. Something's just that. And people can't comprehend the idea that maybe this is just what Justin Fields is. There are 15 quarterbacks in the NFL that are better than Justin Fields that are less physically gifted. And sometimes it is just kind of between the ears and maybe he will go somewhere and be better and just calm down and simplify. My opinion is that Justin Fields needs like a whole year off. He should not be a starting quarterback in the NFL this year. He should probably go somewhere, learn a playbook, kind of forget that people care, maybe be a backup somewhere, and then he'll get a refresh. 